Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. It's Friday, it's Zer Day, which of course means I'm here to tell you guys where you can find Zer, what he has for sale, and whether or not any of those items are worth purchasing. So as always, if you guys do enjoy this, if you find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But first things first, you will notice that this week, Zer is not on one of the planets like he normally is. Instead, he is over here on the tower in the hangar. I can only assume the reason they're doing that is because the milestone this week, or the flashpoint, should I say, is on Mercury and typically Zur shows up on the Flashpoint planets but of course if you don't have the DLC and Zur did that you wouldn't be able to access him so I imagine anytime that the Flashpoint is Mercury this is where you'll find him. So that's where you go go to the east side of the tower and you'll find him there but we then turn our attention to his stock so firstly let's talk about his items then we'll turn our attention to the new stuff the exotic weapon is Darcy a sniper rifle looks cool not exactly the greatest weapon definitely not one of those ones that people typically lean towards using. Your main perk is personal assistant, aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. Plus, as well as of course the usual perks, it also has target acquired. When personal assistant is active, this weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage. So, nice idea, but generally speaking, snipers aren't exactly the kind of go-to for a lot of encounters anyway, so it gets a little bit lost in the power slot. So I'd say, nice to have, fair enough, but not a mandatory purchase. For the Hunters, you have the Celestial Nighthawk, one of the best exotic helmets for the Hunter. Main perk on this is, of course, Hawkeye Hack. Modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot explode, so very good for boss damage. In fact, on the new raid, I've seen the Celestial Nighthawk do incredible damage. There is a video of a team one-phasing Argos using a Celestial Nighthawk and lots of all generation. So, long story short, if you're a Hunter, you don't have this helmet, definitely pick it up. For the Titans, you have Hallow Fire Heart, chest piece that greatly improves the recharge rate of your solo abilities while the Hammer of Sol is charged. So again, if you run the uh, Sunbreaker class, then feel free to grab that. And for the Warlocks, you have Eye of Another World. The main perk on this one is Cerebral Uplink, highlights priority enemy targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee and rift abilities. However, if we turn our attention to the two new items. So first things first, at the top on a weekly basis, Zul will give you one Fated Engram. It will cost you 97 Legendary Shards, so it's a little bit more expensive than anything else he sells. But this is supposed to, and we'll test it in just a second, this is supposed to give you an item that you do not have. So I do have quite a lot of the exotics, and up until recently, I didn't have Orpheus Rigs. I did actually get Orpheus Rig the other day. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to come out of this, but it should be an item that I do not have. So if we grab this one, bear in mind it is expensive, but it should be a guaranteed method to get something you don't have. And then we have it. Telesto is actually a weapon that I have been chasing. I do, I really liked it in Destiny 1. I was kind of hoping to pick it up in Destiny 2. I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. So now that is an item I did not have. Of course, there will come a time where when you've got everything, these won't necessarily provide too much value for you. But as it currently stands, if you are missing an item, then this is a sort of slightly better path to getting that. But you can only do one per week, so that is your limit. As for the Three of Coins, this is an item, if you guys are new in Destiny 2, you might not recognize this, but from Destiny 1, basically an item whereby when you use this, it increases the chances of exotic engrams to drop. However, this one works a little bit differently. In Destiny 1, you basically pop it before a boss, and then once the boss was defeated, it basically used up your Three of Coins. This one is a straight four hour consumable. You just pop it, and for those four hours, while you're doing things like public events, strikes, crucible, anything, you have a better drop rate for your exotics. So, grab them if you want to. 31 legendary shards, also slightly more expensive than the usual items. But either way, that is your week in Zur. That's where you can find him, what he has for sale, and whether or not those items are worth purchasing. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.